Yeah, I think it's fairly fair to say that the peak, or at least that dreaded potential Omicron peak, has been levelled off. Significant behaviour change and potentially something endemic within the virus contributing to that. Um, I wonder how much this was less about the virus and more about the Prime Minister's political situation, the need to demonstrate that he had his hand on the tiller, turning up in a national press conference with uh, a smarter haircut than he's had in several months, trying to really show that he's the guy who's in charge. To what extent do you think that this was more of a political than uh, a virus-centred move? It was definitely a political press conference, albeit I must say, I think historians will look back and have many questions about our age, not least, why did we spend so much time analysing the hair of one of our leading politicians? <laughs> it's extraordinary the amount of time we, we dedicate to it. But yes, I agree with you. It was a, a political conference. And not least, I think what it said was we've had a reset over Christmas. Government is now back. We are back on an even keel. We There was a kind of implicit acknowledgement here, I, I think, that, yes, you rebelled uh, before the Christmas break. We listened. You know, there was some messaging to the backbenchers here. Mm. We're not going any further with restrictions uh, on society. We're not going to have anything more. So I, mm. from that perspective, I agree with you. It was a political press conference. But I suppose the question that this begs were um, you thinking about it from the perspective of one of those Tory sceptics in the House of Commons. I suppose the question you would have watching it is, what about the things that the executive is doing uh, that we don't get to vote on, most significantly the work from home um, advice that we are currently under. Because, Tom, I think one of the interesting things is people think we've got a political elite, a political class that's all the same. When it comes to coronavirus, you have the full spectrum of opinion in the House of Commons, from people who think we're not going far enough and we should be locking down a great deal more, from people who want to scrap everything and go back to inverted commas normal tomorrow or preferably yesterday, you know, and those people, you can't, you can't please that entire group. But in the group that Boris is concerned about, those Tory backbenches, they'll be watching this thinking to themselves, I'm glad you're not going any further, but when are we going to start opening up again?